Morning. Morning was an hour ago. It's nearly lunch. What's all this? Well, the mayor came in for his nine o'clock. He wanted you to know that he waited for 20 minutes, which was 19 minutes longer than he wanted to. I told him you were sick and we would follow up to reschedule. Fish and Game called twice. Seems they need someone to draft a policy on the definition of a buck deer. You got a call from Nolan Holt this morning and your sponsor left another message. He wants you to call him back. What Nolan want? He didn't say. It sounded important though. How so? When I told him you were otherwise indisposed, he asked that you hurry every chance you get. Call the mayor. We're scheduled for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that seafood place he likes? Oceaner. That's the one. Make sure they bring out those hush puppies. Mm -hmm. He likes those. After that, call Fish and Game. Tell them that anything with a hard antler protruding through the skin is a buck deer. Same as last season and the hundreds of seasons before that. And your sponsor? Forget it. You sure? I'm busy.
Mm-hmm. And Nolan. I'll handle that one myself. You gonna get that? You know, one of these days that thermos is gonna catch up with you. Well, lucky for you, you'll be here to tell me I told you so. The worst time to hear I told you so is when you end up saying it to yourself. Thanks, Rima. So, partner? I know. <laughs> so, what'd you want to show me? Phone call about. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Woo wee! No one? Why is there a shark in the back of your truck? You sure, booty? That's not what I asked. Where'd you get this? Brother got in Surf City. I'm a buddy we're out fishing. Got him something big one. <laughs> it's crazy. Why do you have it? Why do I have it? What do you think I have it, son? I'm gonna sell it. You're gonna sell it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, you know the teeth? Jawbone? Sometimes people like to get the finish shit. I'm gonna kill it. Great. Let's fucking bloat it. Are you sure it's... Ah, it's dirt and shit, man. Don't worry about it. All right, all right. Cut that shit out. You got to get this thing out of here. Take it back where it came from. Why? Because this is a small town, Nolan. Once word gets out, you got a dead shark near the lake. People are gonna quit all this with sharks being in the water. That don't make any sense. Everybody knows that no sharks swim in fresh water. It's a perception, Nolan. I don't need to explain that to you. Just do what I ask. I want this thing back in Surf City today. You got it? God damn, man. Well, can I keep a fin at least? Get your ass on the road now. A tooth? Do it! You piss me off. God damn it. You shouldn't have brought it here in the first place. Hey, how are you doing? You can't just come in here and announce, Gary. Unannounced? I call your cell, you don't answer. Your office, no call back. I mean, seriously, do you even get my messages? Besides, you always leave a key outside in case you go AWOL. Did it ever occur to you I might just be busy? Don't bullshit a bullshitter, man. You were coming up on a hundred days. I'd shit with work, Gary, Dottie, and the kid. And this is how you get them back? They don't have room for an attic. And from what you've told me, they've made that pretty damn clear. When's the last time you actually ate something? You know, if you keep facing in the right direction, this thing's really pretty simple. But you gotta keep walking. I'm trying, Gary. I should've called you. Well, have you seen her? The kiddo? It's been three weeks. 
drove by the house the other night. Well, look, I'm here to help. And I'm a hell of a good listener. I'll put on some coffee. Thanks, Gary. Catching anything? Not a damn thing. What's in it? Coffee. You got a license to fish out here? That's none of your damn business, Gary. <laughs> He's worried about taking care of me. That's a full-time job. I bet it is. I appreciate you either way. You can do this deal, brother. One day at a time. Did you ever slip up? I did. Several times. But you know what? I wouldn't trade this way of life and I wouldn't trade my sobriety for anything in the world. You get there. Yeah. Things I'm driving back down south. You got another thing coming. Hey, you hear some bitch? You go Betsy into the water. He's dirty. It's just coffee today, Rima. Lunch with the mayor went well. What's that look? What? What? The uh, sheriff's here to see you. Send him in. Oh. Wilson? Spencer? 
What can I do you for? You hadn't heard? Heard what? Found a dead girl in the lake. Where's the body? What's left of it? Coroner's office. There's a bunch of boats in the water a couple miles up the coast from where we found the girl. I sent a couple of my guys up there to bring them in. What'd you tell them? Lake water tests. Figured that'd give us some time to figure out what we're gonna say. We? We hadn't had a murder in this town in 60 years. And now, in a goddamn election year, you're the warden. I deal with criminals. You deal with animals. Well, Sheriff, I think I deal with more criminals in this town than you do. What makes you think it's an animal? <laughs> they pulled that out of the middle of her back, lodged into her spine. Yeah. That's a shark tooth. Impossible. Listen, I don't want to cause a panic in town with the locals. Word gets out, we got a shark in the lake, and you forget all about tourists. Sheriff, if there were a shark in these waters, as rare as that would be, the chances of attacking and killing a swimmer like that doesn't add up. They don't come into fresh water. We don't have reefs. Slaughterhouses, no. Nothing here to keep it interested. All right, then. Game warden. How'd a shark end up in my lake? No one! Warden? Warden my ass, what'd you do? By what? The other day, a little package in the back of your truck. Oh, what did you do? Man, shit, man, I didn't know you meant it. What'd you do with it, Nolan? I dumped it by the lake. Up by the campground, why? You dumped it in the lake. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I just didn't want to make another trip, that's all. Damn. You told me it was dead, Nolan. You swore to me. It was dead! I even poked it with a stick! You saw it? Wait. What are you trying to say here, huh? A young girl's dead, Nolan. The shark was alive when you put it back. There's in no way! It, it didn't move for ten hours. What about the one inside it? Hmm? I told you it looked fucking bloated. Get the fuck out of here, man! You tell me it was knocked up. You got a better suggestion? What are we gonna do? I mean, I didn't do anything. I mean. I didn't do anything, man. You saw I was dead. You saw it. I poked it with a stick. You saw it, man. Right? Save it for the sheriff, Nolan. It was dead. I poked it with a stick. So do you even have to go to the academy to be a game warden? About 31 weeks, asshole. Right on time, fellas. We're in the middle of my lunch here. No. At first, I thought that I... 
shark in lake water didn't make any sense. But I did my research. Come to find out, it's not as uncommon as you might think. Louisiana, Mississippi, even parts of the Texas coast, but never this far up though. Is it dead? Excuse me? The shark, is it dead? Hmm. Which one? Whoa, what do you mean which one? Look out. You see the bite ratio here on her lower back? I called a friend of mine down at the Ocean Institute and I had him take a look at the measurements. Come to find out those teeth markings are from a younger shark. You know, the tooth you found in her back? It broke off like that because the shark's jawline is still developing. What am I supposed to tell that girl's family? Never mind that. So what you're saying is not one, but two sharks in our lake? Well, unless this adolescent shark got lost to sea, I can almost bet the mama shark's out there with him. Son of a bitch. Look, gentlemen, you're interrupting my lunch, and at the end of the day, I need to be honest with my cause of death here. This girl was killed by a shark attack, and how that happened, it's your jobs to figure out. How long can we keep this quiet? A few days, if we're lucky. This friend of yours at the Institute, you have his number? In case I have any questions. Right there. Good luck. No, no, no. That's not what I said. No, what I said was I didn't want to make a comment at this time. And legally, that's all you can print. Harry, hold on a second. Hey, you got the mayor on the line? Harry, yeah, it's the mayor's office. I've got to call you back. Don't print anything. You hear me? Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a call to the Ocean Institute as well. When? All right. I should be getting a call any minute now. Rima. Rima! Nothing back from the guy from Port Aransas? Line two. Mr. Mayor? Yes, my assistant. Just let me know our guy's on hold. Will do, you got my word. If you could keep the paper off my back, I'd appreciate it until we figure this whole thing out. Yes, sir, talk to you soon. What lines you got for four day? Line two. God damn it, there's nobody there. Well, he hung up. Should I call him back? Yeah, right now, please. Yeah. If the paper calls back, tell Harry to call the mayor's office if he wants a statement, okay? Okay. God damn it. Gary, now's not a good time, my friend. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that. I appreciate you checking in on me. I just got a lot going on at work right now and I gotta call you back. This is Tim's. Yes, yes, thank you for calling me back so quickly. Great, so you understand our situation up here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. say that last part again. How could you possibly know all that? All right, I'll be there tonight. Thank you. Nolan Holt is on line one. Go fuck yourself, no one. Now, was that necessary? Where do you think you're going? Port Aransas. Now? That's a seven hour drive. It's important. Have the sheriff meet me at the North Dock at 7 a.m. Anybody else call, send them to the mayor's office till I get back and keep your cell phone on. Are you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? Not right now. How the hell does everybody have a key to this place? You're not answering your phone. Got a lot going on. I can see that. It's not like that. Hey. 
What's this? You know what it is, Spencer. I'm not signing that. You don't really have a choice. You come into my house with divorce papers. You won't even let me see them. And whose fault is that? I mean, you remember your little episode at the courthouse. It's my son too! And you, you are holding him hostage from me. Oh, how dare you? I have done nothing but give you chances to have some sort of relationship with him and you've done nothing but shit all over it. How many times have you shown up drunk or hung over? How many times can you cancel on him before he starts to think you don't give a shit? Just don't, don't put that on me. All right, fine. But I'm not signing these, not yet. You are still my wife. We're gonna work through all this. We're gonna be a family again. When you were young, I loved who you were. Now, I don't know this guy. And that, that hurts the worst. Sign the papers. It's what's best for all three of us. Enjoy your drink. It's not what's best. Can we talk about this? Frankfurt, Michigan, three years ago. And that's not the first one I've heard about in fresh water. I know, the chances of winning the lottery or a meteorite falling from the sky seem more likely than finding a shark in the Great Lakes. But there are more than a hundred eyewitness accounts of sharks swimming up the Mississippi as far up as Illinois. Given the distance between the Gulf of Mexico in Lake Michigan, I have to suggest that if a shark with an extreme case of wanderlust could make it up to the Illinois River, it could surely make it a third of the way and end up in your backyard. See, 
The unique trick is that bull sharks have kidneys that recycle the salt vital to the animal cells. Normally, a dip in fresh water would dilute the salt, causing the cells to rupture, kill it. Not the bull shark. Great. I see this a lot when people read magazine articles on shark attacks or they turn on the History Channel for one week a year. Suddenly, everyone becomes an expert. But Warden, Texas, Michigan, Mississippi, the Amazon. When Hamlin called me, I took a look at what she had. See this? The size and depth of these wounds matches that of only one species. This isn't a trick of the sun or waves or too much alcohol. What you're dealing with is a shark, and from the looks of it, a hungry one. Now there is some good news. With the lack of any salt water or appropriate food, and with the colder temperatures coming, I think this shark problem is not gonna last you too much longer. As long as you've closed the lake, I think the shark thing is gonna go away pretty quickly. You did close the lake, right? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Harper, glad I could catch you. Is this a bad time? Who's this? Uh, she's with me, legal counsel. May I? <sighs> About this problem, this little problem we've got with our lake up north, Corner Hamlin, uh, she was up here to speak with you, was she not? She did. And the game warden, he came down here and paid you a visit. That's right. He left just about an hour ago. Look, Mr. Mayor, whatever you want to know, I can assure you that I've briefed your game warden. You know, I love to fish. I once caught a marlin off the Florida Keys. Came in at eight feet long and 200 pounds. Took me two hours to reel him in. Now I know you told Spencer we got a shark in our waters. Personally, if it was the family of marlins that wanted to populate the lake, I'd say bring them on. I want a rematch. But we're not talking about marlins. That would be impossible. We're talking about a shark. A bull shark. That's right. I've given the game warden the report. Amputated arms and legs, the bites aren't hard to find. Take a look at this. Woo. This is six That's months ago, on. three states north of where you are. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Watch out! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, hold on to that thing! Oh my gosh! Look at this boat! Look at this boat! Oh my gosh! Dude, that's like a nine or ten footer. That is not like seven. That's, that's huge. Oh jeez. Do you see that? I don't know. 
He attacked us. Yeah. He literally yeah, yeah. attacked us. Right. What you're dealing with here is a very real possibility. Oh my God. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> I wonder, does the board at the Ocean Institute share your conviction on this bull shark theory? It's not a theory, it's a fact. I doubt they'd be very happy to have a major hit in their funding because one of their mad scientists was spouting erroneous rumors about sharks in freshwater lakes. I'm sorry, what are you getting at? We are very powerful people, Mr. Harper. Would you do me a favor? Would you give us the room? So, could be a problem. I am not paying you to state the obvious. What do we have in place for this? Containment. Thirteen men have run against you. They all thought they had a chance. They lost. We didn't get here by forgetting how we pay our rent. And now I'm running up against a fucking shark. Don't twist my words. I'm not saying we win. I'm saying we take out the story's legs in its heart. And how do we do that? Who else knows? The game warden. The alcoholic. What's that matter? He's the easiest to discredit. The sheriff? He's not a problem, trust me. He wants his quiet as much as I do. Okay. We keep the victim's families quiet a little bit longer until we can draft something up on our side. Anyone talks, we know the weakest link. All we have to do is cut him loose and you look like a hero. Okay. All right then, the pieces are all on the board. Unless there's anyone else who knows about your problem. Don't turn around. Stay calm. This is simply two civil servants having a friendly conversation. There are so many kinds of bravery in this world. Sometimes bravery means laying down your life for something bigger than yourself or for someone else. Sometimes it means giving up everything you've ever known, everything you've ever loved, for the sake of something greater. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes bravery simply means gritting your teeth through the pain, everyday work, slow walk to a better life, and doing what you're asked to do, whether or not you agree with it. Okay, Mr. Mayor. I, I don't need you to say anything right now. But that last kind of bravery I talked about, that's the kind of bravery you're gonna need right now. We'll be in touch. You all enjoy the rest of your lunch.
This is Hamlin. Don't think. Just listen. You're gonna go back to your office this afternoon and you're gonna file that dead girl's report. Only difference is, this time, when you file it, you're gonna leave the cause of death blank. Understood? Hamlin? Yes, I understand. Have you even slept? You look like shit. It's a bull shark. We need to close the lake down. Bull shark? What makes you so sure? Do you hear what I just said? I heard you. But close down the lake? With the tourists coming in? <laughs> Can't just wash those tax dollars away. I'm up for re-election in two and a half months. Can't handle that kind of action. Not what you can't handle, Wilson. It's a kid getting eaten by a shark. Can't afford that. What are you not telling me? The guy at the Ocean Institute. I went and saw him. Good news is, mother sharks don't allow their young to hunt on their own. That, plus the size of the bite radius on the dead girl, says we're looking at one shark, not two. So what happened to the mother shark? His best guess? Didn't survive the birth. So we got one dead shark underwater and another one looking for warm meals. And it's fucking hungry. Did you run this past the mayor? Just got in, Pete. First face I've seen. We need divers to confirm it. Otherwise, we trust the expert and assume if the shark is feeding, that it's got no other choice. Mother's dead. We need to get on the boat. I can't keep that little girl's mother quiet much no, what longer. What you need to do is shut down the damn lake. Cut off his food supply. We don't have to do that if we kill the damn thing first. Now, I'm still the fucking sheriff in this town. Last time I checked, you answered to me. All right. All right. So go find us a boat, and we'll go out there and kill this fucking thing. But we're going to be real quiet about it, right? Nobody's got to know about this but us. In the meantime, we'll stick with the uh, whole water testing story. Hey, I do not want mass hysteria. You got me? I got you.
Ah! The mayor's here to see you. Cinnamon. Morbid. Terrible shame. He's a good man. Can be hard to replace. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Where'd you get that? Deputy brought it in. He didn't know what else to do with it. The lake is 31 miles long. I understand that. If you allow me to call a harbor patrol. No. Harbor Patrol. Too much negative attention. You know, anybody can take the wheel of a ship in calm waters, but the waves get rough, not so easy. We can't just sit back and enjoy the good times. We gotta stand tough through it all. I appreciate the pep talk, but sir. Not a pep talk, Warden, that is a promise. This town has not seen a murder in more than half a century. A shark in these waters? That's unheard of. Sheriff Wilson's dead. I can deal with that end of the mess. But you gotta get a handle on this disaster and live up to your end of the deal. Deal? Do your fucking job so I can save mine. I need to know what you're gonna do about this shark problem. I got a charter coming in. Asked Wilson to shut down the lake, but he refused. We can shut down the lake without shutting down the lake. I'll have my office put out a statement. Work being performed on the dam. <sighs> Sheriff Wilson's another story. But the coroner's exam is gonna take a couple of days, maybe enough time for us to come up with some sort of response. There is no response. We got two people dead. Now, the two options I see is that we cut off the shark's food supply or wait it out, see if it starves itself to death. That's it. And you are the authority on this. I spoke to the experts. I drove down to the Ocean Institute. This town can survive anything on two feet. Wildcats, sharks. There's only one person around here who's going to take the fall for that sort of thing. Always nice to see you, Rima. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I just didn't look at the damn calendar is all. Yeah. No, that's fine. It's work. What do you want me to do? No, we're not done talking about the paper signing. God, I gotta go.
Already? Yes, already. You forgot, didn't you? No, I just thought it was going to be later in the day. That's all. Hey, what did I tell you about bringing the gun in the house? I'm sorry, Dad. It's all right. Apologies won't get you anywhere faster. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, I will be back to pick you up Sunday. You call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. Have a good weekend. Yeah. She's still mad, huh? Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, I thought so. You keeping it clean like I showed you? Yeah. Mm. Good. Responsibility. It'll teach you how to do things for yourself. There's no TV in the guest room. Oh, yeah, about that, yeah. Take my room. I had to work this weekend anyway. Hey, don't pout. I'll call up Uncle Gary, come over here and keep you company until I get back. I'm 13. I don't need a babysitter. Besides, he's not even a real uncle. He's just some guy from your AA meetings. Seriously? I deserve that. But I need you to stay by the house. Mom said you were working on the lake. Yeah, it's nothing. We're just looking for something. But it reminds me, you stay out of the water this weekend, too. I want you down there with your buddies, flirting with girls. All right? Stay out of the water. Hey, I need to hear you say it. Stay out of the lake. Stay out of the lake. You promise? I promise. All right, you promised me. You hungry? I could eat. We might have to order out, but let's see. That's fine. Your cooking sucks anyways. Yeah, I know.
Gary, I don't have time for it now, buddy. Kind of busy here. Have Grant do it, he's at the house. What do you mean not at the house? The lake. I'm on my way. until we get to the shore. Get you patched up, all right? You gotta be brave for me, all right? Yeah. Grab hold of my neck. Grab hold of my neck. You ready? One, two, three. talking about that. The whole ride over here, he's telling me he was attacked by a shark. Is that true? Oh my God, and you didn't tell me? Would it have done any good? No. No, I wouldn't have brought him here if I knew that. You know he loves the water. Hey, I told him to stay out of the lake, okay? He lied to me too. Okay, I can stay here tonight. I'll drive him home in the morning, but Spencer, what the hell's going on? There's a shark in the lake. Don't ask me how. 
but it survived and it's killed three people. And this isn't on the news. And somehow you're in charge of this. They need a fall guy. You're looking at him. Spencer, I know you. Whatever this is, you cannot serve two masters. Hey, I'm clean. On our son, I am clean. What are you gonna do? The mayor doesn't want me to bring attention to it. Can't hire a guy to kill the shark. It's gotta be me. <sighs> Spencer, they're just looking for an out when this thing blows up in their faces. What? What did you just say? I said they're gonna blame you for this. No, no, after that. It'll blow up in their faces. I can help? Let's go. Nolan, hold! Get your ass out here! Oh, hell. What, did you come all the way over here to arrest my ass? No, I came to help you. Help me? Yeah. Who's she? It's my wife. Ex. Wife. Nothing's been signed yet. So you two need to get on the same page. Never mind all that, Nolan. It's not why I'm here. I'm here because I need you as much as you need me. All right? Oh, yeah? What do you want from me? You want to make this shark thing disappear? Save your sorry ass in the process? I need you to do something for me. All right. Do what? Do you have anything that explodes? Think. Dynamite. Gunpowder, anything. C4. What? What? C4. You want something exposed, right? Well, that's the ticket right there. What do you want it for? Where in the hell did you get C4? Oh, we're gonna ask 20 questions here? Or do you want the damn stuff? What do you want for it? Get the sheriff off my ass. Deal. Thanks, Nolan. Be sure you poke him with a stick. <laughs> right, macho man? Take over up front. Anything breaks the surface, you shoot it. It feeds in the shallow waters. I gotta get it to do now, swallow this. Okay. Then what? Then we blow it to pieces with this. All right. That should get his attention. Now what? Now? Now we wait. I don't get it. Damn thing should have been here by now. I'm almost out of bait. Maybe we should move to a different spot. Mm -hmm. Deeper waters won't work in case one of us has to get in. Get in? As in get in the water with the shark? How else do you expect it to swallow the C4? I don't know. I thought it would come close enough we could just toss it in its mouth. Really? Yeah, that'd be easier for sure. You're not seriously considering this, are you? Oh, what? What's this? Huh? All of a sudden you give a shit about what happens to me? I needed this person before, not now. So did I. Oh, fuck. 
this ain't working. I'm getting in. Just make it a clean shot. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Glad you're starting over, all of you. Gonna miss you around here, Warden. Nah, uh, new guy will do just fine. Besides, quitting while you're so good at something ain't the same as quitting. I can't seem to find that thermos of yours anywhere. No, it's gone. I don't need it anymore. Well, if you ever want to stop and pay a visit, there will always be a pot of coffee on for you. I believe it. Thanks, Rima. Working on my book right now, Bubba. But that ain't finished yet. I mean, I'm working on it as we speak. Yeah, it'll be out soon. <laughs> First, I'm out in the lake. I'm gonna get me some dinner. Give me some of that food tang fish fin. You know what I mean? Shark fin if I can. <laughs> all right, I'll call you back. All right, all right. Get you tonight, boy. Oh, yeah. Chapter one, Terror in the Water. Today is October 3rd, 2021. It's been three weeks since the sleepy town been ravaged by the lake shark. 
Uh, it's been uh, three weeks since this town it's been ravaged by the silent predator known as the Lake Monster. It's been three weeks since this sleepy town been ravaged by the Lone Star Shark. <laughs> Got best serving over, boy. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, 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 boy. God damn, son of a bitch. What the? Oh, Jesus. Shit, shit. Am I stuck on someone? Is it? Where's it at? <laughs> There's no hope confirming the worst fears. The Lone Star Shark lives on. Stay tuned. 